My name is Tom Lockhart. I'm the IT Systems Manager with the Hastings and Prince Edward Counties Health Unit in uh, Belleville, Ontario, Canada. We provide public health services. This can be anything from mass immunization clinics to uh, well water inspections. We do restaurant inspections, so we provide a variety of public health services. For our RT environment, we have a mix of 40 servers that run a variety of operating systems, primarily Linux and Windows servers. 80% of the servers were virtual at one point, 20% were physical. With this migration project that we just did, which we're going to discuss in a little more detail, uh, we're now 100% virtual. There were two constraints. One was time. I, I wanted to get the migrations done as quickly as possible. That being said, it was a little bit of a, a self-serving reason because it was just before Christmas. So I was wanting to get all the migrations done so I could go off and you know, have a nice Christmas holiday. But not only that, because we are a healthcare environment and we do provide service to clients, we're very client focused. So uh, downtime, we had to keep to a minimum. If I wasn't able to use a product like Plate Spin Migrate, I was looking at using other vendors' tools and all the other vendor, vendors' tools that I looked at, be it free or some were paid, they didn't have the wealth of operating system support that I needed, plus a lot of them didn't do real-time block level replication where you could do one giant pass of a server and then pick up the change blocks after. So I was looking at probably an average of four hours of downtime per server in some cases because you would actually have to shut the server down to actually do the migration to bring it up. That's one thing, I'm, you know, Platespin allows you to do live migrations. The great thing about it was I migrated 40 servers and I didn't receive one call either to help desk or myself about any downtime. So uh, when you're not hearing things, that's the best thing because as far as staff and clients were concerned, it was business as normal. If I'd used another product, uh, an alternative maybe to, to the plate spin product, instead of having two to three minutes of downtime per server, I would have been looking at four hours of downtime per server. So with the plate spin migrate product in my tool belt, the data center migration project went quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, successfully.